We want to introduce you to our first story of the night. Mike, do you like superheroes? I actually do, and I like art. Well, this is a great combination for you. Artist Campbell Smith's latest work is on display at the Fleischer Almond Gallery in Philadelphia. Popular landmarks from all over the country, made from cardboard, each with extreme detail. It took me about two months. A sculpture of the Woolworth Building in New York City stands taller than Campbell himself. A lot of hours. I never took no breaks. You see, Campbell is a self-labeled autisarian, a word him and his brother Conte and father Lonnie came up with to reimagine people with autism as having superhuman powers. My superpower was so I could see scale without using no metric tools. We first met Campbell a few years ago during his first art show. On display was this seven piece replica of the Philadelphia Art Museum. I like the shape of it. Okay. Because it's a very cool looking shape. I think about 15 feet wide. And uh, it was stored, you know, you know, in the house. And he would take each section out and paint it and, you know, just do his details on it. He was proud of that sculpture. It was kind of like his best friend. Since then, several sculptures, including the art museum, have been sold to collectors all over the country. He doesn't have to be able to, to fly or to, to, to run like Flash or things like that. It's just an ability that's, a, you know, above average, you know, and, and that is a superhuman ability. Every great superhero has an origin story. He was a very angry little boy. And, you know, I, I didn't really help with that too much because, you know, I kind of dealt with him like a uh, child who needed discipline. Campbell directed that negative energy into creating art. It started with sketching comic book heroes, and then he moved on to painting. Sculpting with cardboard came after he ran out of canvas. He realized he could see buildings, he could see the scale of buildings, and he didn't have any tools, so he took that ability and he just started creating. Campbell isn't the only Altisarian in the family. One of younger brother Conte's superhuman abilities is coding computers. Conte even developed a gaming app for your Android phone and a computer animated film. And it took time doing it, so I got the hang of it. So it was actually kind of fun doing it, so. The film is based from characters Campbell created when he first got into art. <laughs> it's awesome, and I'm proud of myself. Yeah. I want to make my dad proud of me when I do this stuff. The superhuman team is venturing into the virtual reality gaming world, a state-of-the-art tech center called Holodeck. Once an individual, autistic, or anyone goes into a virtual world, they forget about the distractions of the outside world. And they, they just do what they do. And uh, once you can look at them in that type of um, environment, they do things that, that you wouldn't expect. The Holodeck is a 3,000 square foot virtual reality arcade located in the Northern Liberty section of Philadelphia. I believe we're the largest um, uh, virtual reality tech center in the, uh, in the Philadelphia area. And um, I think we're one of the only um, minority owned in the, in the country. A place to help others reach new levels like Campbell and Content. This stuff was supposed to be for me, but it's an arcade game for everyone. It's about them, and I want them to be able to, to move forward on their own, you know. Because I'm not gonna be around forever. Father and sons joining forces to save the world. Well, if you at home want to check out some of those beautiful works, you can go to the Fleischer Ullman Gallery. They'll be on display the entire rest of the month. If you're interested in the holodeck, though, you can go to theholodeck.com. It'd be cool if you did our building. I know. You how know, cool would that be? Just to, a Box 29 studio? Yeah, to scale and maybe a little Breland inside yeah, of the desk. Yeah, the desk. Yeah, I love oh, that. 